The number one reason that people quit playing guitar, in my opinion, from the conversations that I've had, this is what I hear most, is it's because people don't see results within the first few months. So going into something, anything really, I mean, that, especially something this like complex and this difficult to learn, it's not something that you can just learn in a few months. There's, I mean, nothing really worth doing is something that you can learn and master in just a few months. So understanding that you're committing to at least two years, that is going to make your probability of success uh, so much higher. I think that the zero to 100% increase mindset is another factor that makes people think that they're going to get good in a few months and makes people not want to continue after they don't see instant results. So if you have that, the mindset of 1% better every time you play. Implementing the exercises and the stuff that you know is going to make you 1% better when you're done playing, I think is going to make success inevitable. Everybody's goals are going to look different and everybody's day-to-day -day activities is gonna, are going to be different depending on your goals and depending on your abilities and where you're at, the time you have to spend. It's all going to look different than somebody else. So watching what somebody else does and trying to mirror that is not going to get you the results that you're looking for. The best way to do that is to sit down, figure out what your goals are, what are the steps that you need to take to get you to your goals, whether they're month-long goals, six months, a year, five years, what are the steps that you need to take to get you to reach all of these milestones along the way? And what is the end goal? I always have the mindset of like, yes, I have goals that I'm striving to reach for, but the goals never end. Once I hit a milestone or reach a goal, then I sit down and I write new goals and then I, I, I go for those. Like the, the journey never ends. What I've noticed helps more than anything is consistency. Five, six, even seven days a week doing something towards where I want to be. Even if that's only 10 to 15 minutes a day and then some of the days that I have a little bit more time, I spend, you know, an hour or an hour and a half playing. The consistency I, I've noticed has made the biggest impact on my guitar playing and anything that I've done, exercising, skateboarding, every avenue that I've taken to try to get better and reach goals. The consistency seems to be the key factor in progression. So figuring out what your goals are, what it is that's going to get you to reach those goals, and then having a structured practice routine or some sort of accountability to where you're going to sit down on certain days and play for a certain amount of time, even if that's only 10 or 15 minutes on days when you have a lot of stuff to do, a bit longer on days that you're not as busy. Ultimately, I think the consistency is really what's going to get you closer to your goals much quicker. But if you're thinking about learning how to play guitar and you're just getting into it and you have that mindset of like, okay, I'm going to do it like I do, like all these people do for their diets. It's going to be like a 90 day, three month thing. And I'm just going to go all in and then I'm going to be good at guitar and I'm not going to have to really practice anymore. Maybe I'll play once in a while, but my goal is just to be good so that I can like pick up the guitar when friends are over and I can play some stuff and they're impressed or whatnot. If that's your mindset, then don't even waste your time because you're not going to reach your goal. You're not going to get good in three months at anything. It's going to take at least two years before you see real results. That's anything worth doing that you really truly want to be proficient at needs to be a lifestyle. So decide whether you want guitar to be part of your life or if you don't. And if you don't want guitar to be part of your life, if you just want to be good at playing guitar, then don't buy the gear. Don't even start because it's not going to happen and you're wasting your time and you're going to quit in a few months um, because that's not how getting good at playing guitar works. The main takeaway should be commit to at least two years of playing guitar before you decide I'm not going to be any good and I don't want to do it. Figure out what your goals are. Figure out what you need to do on a daily basis to reach these goals and these milestones. Consistency is key. Commit to some sort of a practice schedule, even if it isn't an hour every night. If it's just 15, 20 minutes sometimes and then a little bit longer, 
other days. I'd say at least five days a week you should be sitting down playing guitar, probably even six. And focus on getting 1% better every time you play. So I'm going to show you guys three exercises that I believe will make you 1% better every time you do them, and it only takes like five minutes. The first exercise is the no-pick spider. And just for reference, I come up with my own name, so if you've seen this somewhere before, it's got a different name. I don't care, this is what I call it, and this is what I'm gonna call it. I call it the no-pick spider. So you start on the first fret of the low E string with all four fingers resting on the one through four frets. Move your first finger down one string, but stay on the first fret. Now do the same thing with the other three fingers until all the fingers are on the A string, the one through four frets. Again, do this all the way down until you get to high E string and then work your way back up. Do that for, you know, five minutes or so. The idea of this exercise is to not let more than one finger move at a time. Um, it's going to be hard at first. Some of your fingers are going to want to move when you try to move other ones. So just do the best you can and try to just move one finger at a time. Try not to let any of the other ones lift off the frets or off the strings. Down, up, pick, riffing. So you're going to down pick the open E string two times, then up pick the A string one time. All the notes on the E string will be open, but each time you come back to the A string, you will move um, up one fret. So start on the 12th fret and then work your way all the way to the first fret. You will be picking consistently the entire time with no rests in between. Once you reach the first fret, you can start at the beginning or you can go and start on the 12th fret on the D string and do it all over again. Do that for about five minutes. You will want to play this to a metronome. The idea of this exercise is to increase your efficiency of your down to up picking when working with two different strings, along with increasing your strength while picking this way. Try to keep the pick as close to the strings as possible while you're performing this, and then you can increase the speed as you get familiar with this exercise. The last exercise is triplets with the natural minor scale. Use this natural minor scale that I have on the screen here and um, play it as I show you. The idea is to play this with no rest between notes even when switching strings. Try to have your fretting hand straight up and down so your fingers are not turned at all while doing this. You should be alternate picking each note. This will help you with accuracy and syncing both hands together while playing individual notes. If you guys have had any other success with exercises similar to this that you think have made you 1% better every time you play them, um, let me know. I'd like to hear what other people are successful with.